I have to talk because I hardly sleep. My blood pressure is going up and I don't want to leave this world before my time. And I know you know I'm a gift to you and the body of Christ. It's so painful that when men of God go through strike, you are quick to throw the stone, abuse them, say all sorts of insult to them. It's good. We will receive it as a cross. Because that's part of our battle in life. There's no man of God at my level who wants to pray, to go through trials in marriage or battles in marriage. Nobody will want to pray to, to, to have a collapsed marriage or a collapsed family. Nobody. But when you get to a level where you see some circumstances that are beyond you, you have to pray. That's why I say pray for leaders. Pray for them. Pray for them. Maybe I might be the first man of God doing this in this fashion. That is how I'm led to do it. And I, I want you to throw your stone at me, abuse me, insult me. I will receive it. But I want to stay alive, if not for you, for my destiny. I am a mother, mother in the Lord. We met and then we had a wonderful marriage. And before we started, we started by checking our genotype. She was AA, I was AS. It's difficult for me to say, but I have to say it this way and stop at a particular point. And then we had our first daughter, a wonderful child. And eventually we discovered she was sickle cell anemia. I received, you've seen me pray for people here with sickle cell anemia and God has been doing miracles. I saw it as a, a battle and a challenge for me as your father, which is a trial of faith for me, which is not a problem. Not a problem at all. I embraced my daughter and we had good time in my family and that's all we flowed with my wife and everything was okay and then discovered in the quest of time that she was actually as and as no problem it was not a battle but one thing led to another thing something happened which i don't want to go into those details and what happened is what we make a man to divorce his wife scripturally i had the backing for that I had to cover it up to make sure that my marriage moved with your mother. And that led to so many things. So many things. You see, because I'm a man of God, I cannot divorce my wife. Because if I do, all of you will say a man of God is divorcing his wife. I chew it as a pill. But eventually it brought an unholy child into the matrimony which became a pill for me to chew. I'm not wanting you to judge my wife or judge anything. I just want you to just know. It led to that and brought me, we had serious battles here and there, families, interventions and everything. We covered it. We would have not gotten to this point today if my wife had listened to me when we had the battle. I also went out and have a child outside wedlock and then it became a battle in the family and so this battle has become a big one that both some men of God are taking advantage of this battle of that battle and sons who are under me who are very bad I feed on this battle we've tried I've tried for seven years to stable the vehicle but it has not been i want you to take the blame to be on me but i want you to know that it started from this point to that point as it is now it has become a pain because when your wife begin to fight you on everywhere you go insulting you throwing i told her i said don't fight me let's solve this problem in the secret if we cannot solve it, I'll come to the wall, I'll confess my sin to the wall, receive the insults, and end the marriage. And that is what I'm doing today. Because the battle is bad. He has pushed me to this point today that I'm confessing to the whole world. I want the world to know. I want you to insult me, but I said the day I open up to the wall of what she... Because this battle didn't start as if Papa started the battle. She pushed me to this and um, I covered her up and I did not divorce her and when mine came 
she threw me to the wall, sending everywhere I go. My wife is calling people, telling people, sending pictures, sending this. I feel it's so bad because I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping at all. And then children who don't know my story are insulting me unnecessarily. I felt I want to end the struggle. I want it to be on media. Insult me the way you want to insult me. I accept the blame. I'm not going to fight my wife. I'm not going to fight her. But I've said the day you push me, I pleaded with her for seven years. I've knelt down. I begged her. I pleaded. But she chose to make me a laughing stock before people. And I said to her, the day I come up to the air and say this thing to the people, it marks the end of the union. Because if you cannot cover me in this place. Can I, can I talk? If you are not in my shoe, if you are not in my shoe, you will not be able to talk the way I'm talking. Somebody shot fire. So we, I just have to end it here. I want you to know this is where it is. Pray for us and God will keep us all in Jesus name. Can you stand up please everybody? That's where I will stop today.